Did you know that over a billion people live without electricity? Most of these people live in rural areas and the sub-Saharan Africa. And while they have to make it without any electrical power at all, the rest of the world is using more and more electricity every year. Most of it generated by unsustainable, non-renewable sources like coal, natural gas and petroleum. These sources also release a huge amount of CO2 and other harmful chemicals to the atmosphere. SDG 7 targets these problems and aims to ensure access to affordable, reliable, sustainable and modern energy for all. My name is Maria Chambelletown and I'm a master's student of finance and investments at Rotterdam School of Management, Erasmus University. I'm here to introduce SDG 7, which promotes sustainable energy for all. The problem of energy is twofold. Many have to live without it, being basically isolated from the rest of the world. And on the other hand, only a small part of the increasing amount of energy for the rest of the population comes from renewable sources. If we continue using unsustainable energy like we do now, we will run out of it. There are many actions that need to be taken in order to prevent this. We need to invest in the development of new, safe energy sources, make the global infrastructure more energy efficient, and there needs to be more international cooperation to facilitate access to clean energy, research and technology. Only through these actions can we achieve universal, sustainable energy access by 2030. One of the challenges in achieving the Sustainable Development Goals is that they are interlinked with one another. SDG 7 is strongly linked with SDG 9, which is concerned with infrastructure and innovation. Without functioning infrastructure, it will be impossible to create access to electricity for all. In the next model, you will learn more about the green energy transition from Dr. Yasha Gyasi Farokfa, who is an assistant professor in the Department of Technology and Operations Management in RSM. His research interests include integration of renewable energy, electricity markets, and optimal design of solar energy farms. He is also involved in the Erasmus Center for Future Energy Business that fights, identifies, analyzes, and builds innovative strategies in the energy sector. Finally, Caroline Cruz, Program Lead Energy Transition of the Port of Rotterdam, will share her vision on this transition. The Port of Rotterdam is the biggest port in Europe and has the opportunity to influence energy consumption in the port and promote sustainable energy sources to its customers, as well as use innovative energy solutions in the vast port area.